Carbon, Organic Compounds, and the Ecosystem Natural cycles carry the elements in varying molecular forms through the Earth's spheres. Take carbon. Carbon atoms can be found in the rock limestone in the lithosphere, in the gas carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, in carbon dioxide dissolved in water in the hydrosphere, and in organism tissues in the biosphere. The carbon atom bonds with many other atoms. Its four valence electrons are easily shared. Organic compounds are molecules based on the carbon atom. Molecules based on elements other than carbon are called inorganic compounds. Very large combinations of carbon molecules are called macromolecules. Their familiar names are listed on food labels. Carbohydrates, which store and transport energy, fats and oils, which serve as reserve energy supplies, proteins, which build and repair cell structures and organism tissues. Nucleic acids, which store information for the development, functioning, and reproduction of all organisms. The membranes and tissues of all living organisms are made of these organic compounds. Their carbon atoms are recycled in biochemical processes like photosynthesis and respiration. Photosynthesis in plant cells uses the carbon in carbon dioxide to make a form of carbon-based food called glucose. Glucose stores energy in its carbon bonds. Another cell releases the energy through respiration. Respiration separates carbon atoms from the glucose and places them in molecules of carbon dioxide gas. Along the way, the energy stored in the carbon bonds is released for the cell to use. Together, photosynthesis and respiration cycle carbon atoms from the atmosphere into the biosphere and back to the atmosphere. Carbon atoms in organic molecules cycle through chemical processes, too. The carbon in carbon dioxide gas dissolves in ocean waters. Small sea organisms ingest the dissolved carbon dioxide. The sea organisms' internal processes extract the carbon and use it to build protective shells. Eventually, the shells fall to the ocean floor, accumulate, and form the sedimentary rock limestone. Tectonic plate movement subducts the carbon-bearing limestone. As the limestone becomes magma, carbon atoms form new bonds and become carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide gas escapes through an erupting volcano back into the air. Various cycles keep carbon moving through the different spheres of the ecosystem.